Board members, the boardroom is open and we're playing Hexplore It Volume 1 with Pepper Pants the Gnome Tinkersmith, Araya the Angelborn Guardian, and Thonk the Ogre Berserker as we campaign through the Valley of the Dead King. When the thistle whistles, it's time to run. For the bringer of death, his work begun. Pricking, stinging, taking all life. The dark tormentor, this cause of strife. All those who stand shall be cast aside, no longer drawing breath and neither alive. Yet when he calls, they are sure to rise, to take up arms, fight by his side. So listen closely, heed what I say, sharpen your wits and don't dare disobey. The one of whom I speak, the one of whom I sing, is the vilest of vile ones, the evil dead king. Board members, welcome back. The boardroom is open. We're at the board table. This is campaign number one, Valley of the Dead King by Hexplorit. Uh, there are so far three, uh, three iterations of this game, uh, Valley of the Dead King, Forest of Ardaman, and Sands of Shirax. I've recently, um, well, not recently backed, but I backed the fourth iteration, which is uh, Domain of Mirza Noctis, waiting eagerly for that, I figured I'd do a full campaign run of all the other uh, versions of Hexplorit prior to that landing at my doorstep. So here we have Pepper Pants, the Gnome Tinker Smith, Araya, the Angelborn Guardian, and Thonk, the Ogre Berserker. They're going to head out, stop the Dead King from destroying all the cities. Uh, let's see, city here, here. There's a quest at this city here. There's a Cyclops invasion that got dealt out uh, during the initial game setup. We are starting here. That's town number four, if I can remember which town that is. Let's take a look. That is Stormwrath Moothome, home to the trolls. Uh, we fought Caraborn, I believe his name is, Caribborn, the leader there to get his approval, for lack of a better word, to take up residence in that uh, mountainous region. So with that said, I believe all there's left to do, we already purchased our gear, uh, spent our gold. Oh, one more thing. Uh, we will be using the game rules. However, um, it was very difficult the first time I tried to play this. And so we all died very early in the game. What I'm going to do is every time I die too early for my tastes, I'm going to draw power-up cards to power up the three heroes here um, little by little to try to establish, mm, I don't know, a baseline difficulty. So I, I drew none prior to my first playthrough, so I'm going to draw one for each. I figured I would do it here live on stream. So welcome to the interactive campaign experience. What makes it interactive? some of the sound effects that I'm going to have, and hopefully your input and choices that these heroes will make across the land. So let's get these cards drawn. Um, whenever I have to roll for targets, I've got blue, green, and yellow die. Blue is going to be for Berserker. Green is for Guardian. It's an easy way to remember that. So the yellow is going to be the Tinkersmith who likes gold. So that's kind of going to be my go-to way for targets. So let's roll these to see an order of drawing cards. Got a 9 for the Guardian, a 6 for the Berserker, and a 5 for the Tinkersmith. So let's draw that Guardian card first and see what we get. Oh, wow. That's a really good card. Plus 1 to all skills. I am really happy about that. Let's do it. 4, 3, and 4 now. Yes. We might not get lost. 4, 3, Four. Super exciting. Way to go, Guardian. Berserker, what do you get? Plus one navigate. All right. So far, so good. That is a very rounded out, skilled Berserker. Three, three, three. All right, so let's see what that Tinkersmith gets. Minus one food rating. Food rating can be reduced to zero. If it's zero, they no longer need to consume food. Okay, well, um, 
if that's the case, how do I, what do I do with my food? I'm not supposed to be able to hold it. Okay, minus one food rating, let's figure this out. So that's zero. I'm sitting on five, but Thonk here could use four more. One, two, three, four, that's five times his food rating. So we'll give, I guess I just lose a food. Uh, that's okay, no longer need to consume food. So that's that. So that's what our heroes are starting with. They're a little bit stronger, but not. I don't think I don't think it's that out of line. Um, with that being said, I think we can just kick this off. Let me get some ambiance, if you will. And while that's loading up, um, the Dead King. Let's talk about that for a second. At the end of every round, I'm going to roll this six-sided die. And that six-sided die is going to, uh, if it's a hex, he'll show himself. If it's uh, not, he won't show himself. But every round thereafter, it will lower by one. So hex, and then five and hex, and four, five and hex, three, four, five, and until finally he'll, he'll arrive uh, eventually, right? Okay. Just put some stuff in the background. Here we go. We're going to move cautiously. One hex. That, um, that gives us a chance to kind of put out some feelers, see what's out here, and we don't have to roll for navigation if we do that. So that's kind of nice. So you just have to roll Exploration and Survival. Now Pepper Pants doesn't really need to roll Survival, but he might get a crit. Pepper Pants fails both. I need threes and fours here, three on yellow, four on blue. I failed both, so the Angel Born will need to consume one food. Kind of mad that Pepper Pants threw away that last food. Thonk, three and three. All right, we got our first. Critical success. Critical success. Um, critical success on survival says it doesn't need to consume food and each hero heals one lost energy or end an affliction so there was no afflictions so that's that the good news is Thonk doesn't have to eat three food that's pretty huge so that takes care of the skill phase we now let's ha have what's called the circumstance phase every round you know we're walking through the mountains here um, every round Something's happening out here in the wilderness, maybe. And we're gonna roll the die here and see what's happening. Five, we come across some hags. Now when you move cautiously, we may discard the circumstance we rolled if it's allowed. And what that means is sometimes there's a circumstance that says unavoidable or uncancelable or whatever. So let's take a look at these hags. Monstrous humanoids. Um, I'm not, they're not my favorite enemy of anyone. They have 12 health, they're gonna deal group energy. They're gonna deal a lot of energy damage, um, maybe some poison. Group reward is six gold each. Do we fight the hags or do we move along home? Um, six gold is nice, it allows us to, we could go back to town and, and purchase some more gear upgrades, which are our stats, or we could purchase some more regular gear. We've got a couple of potions each. We've got camping gear, so when we camp, by the way, with camping gear, um, we heal one health and one energy before the movement phase of each game turn. And that's not even if we camp, we just heal that. So I'll ask you, the watchers, the viewers, should we face these ugly, ugly hags? We have 12 health and 12 energy. What do you think we should do? Hmm. 
six gold is nice. You know, let's face the hags and see what happens. Okay. It is the first round of combat. How this works is we all have to declare our action. Well, Thonk here is going to de declare their action of, uh, his action of six damage. Can't, can't see it. This game takes up a lot of table real estate, by the way. So Thonk is going to deal six damage to the hags. Let's put the hag right here, front and center. That's Thonk's action. Now I know it's going to take two rounds, I believe. Let's see, power bot. Boost the damage of one ally's attack this round by power bot rank, plus clockwork assault rank. Four and one is five. I could boost it. I had to reset this here back to five. Okay. I could boost that six damage to 11. And then Araya could finish them with cleave. We just don't know what, how they're going to behave here. They behave randomly. Um, gnomes are a crafty and inventive once per combat for two energy. They may boost the rank of a single ability or skill a target uses by three. So I could bash for nine. Um, hmm. I take this nice and slow. I always play this so fast and, and end up in a bad situation. So I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to go just go ahead and hit really hard. We're going to earn this six gold each. Bonk is going to do bash for six damage. Pepper Pants is going to use two energy. And down to five. And Power Bot. Boost the damage of one ally's attack this round by power bot rank plus clockwork assault rank. My clockwork assault is one, power bot is four, thus I'm boosting it by five. Tonk is gonna deal 11 damage. Araya is going to, let's see, shield ally, no. Reflect damage, you are an ally suffers this round. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm just gonna cleave for two. That's 6 plus 5 is 11, 2 is 13 damage. 13 damage to the hags. Now the hags are going to roll to see what they do. 1 to 3 is the top, 4 to 5 is the middle. 5 is the middle. The middle says group energy, uh, group energy. Targets reduced to zero energy suffer two health damage. So we are all reduced to zero energy. Ouch. Um, zero. Zero. And zero. And we all take two damage. Four. Seven. And eleven. However, the hags took thirteen, so they are defeated. I'm going to put them up here in our Defeated pile. That is six gold each. As our reward, we're probably going to run right back to town and heal up. So, um, that is the circumstance phase. After the circumstance phase is the event phase, and we are not in a city space or a shrine or a boss fight or ruin or on a quest location, so we skip the event phase. The villain phase, if this rolls a hex, uh, then, the, then the villain, the boss, shows up. It's a four. It does not show himself yet. That ends the turn. Before the movement phase, because of our camping gear, we heal one and one. So I have eight health and one energy. Pepper will have five health and one energy. And Thonk will have 12 health and 1 energy. It's not a big deal. Um, not having so much energy. We could... Oh, I have to replace that card. The Bone Legion. Level 5 undead. Nope, not ready to face that. Although we do get a power-up card for defeating it. Um, not ready to... 
rush out into trouble. So we're going to move cautiously back to town. And I believe we don't roll circumstance if we're in town. After the skill phase, if you roll circum... Uh, let's see here. Oh, no, there's... After the skill phase, depending on your location. Uh, let's see here. If you end the movement... If you end the movement on a city, shrine, boss, or ruin, skip the skip to the event. So, okay, got it. So instead of circumstance phase, when you end in any of these locations, you go to the event phase instead. Okay, I'm understanding that. Um, event it is. Spend your gold, turn in quests, and pay gold to heal completely. Okay. Well. Um, when we pay gold to heal completely, what I'm curious about is does it heal energy also? Heal completely. Well, let's get into the rule book a little bit and find out. City, city, city. Patience, no, no. Resolution, bosses, that's combat. See if it says it in the back, like an index for heal. Health. Cities, 19. Um, I'm still trying to find healing. Move your heroes. Wandering, roaming, starving. Circumstance, villain phase. Combat, it's not combat. It'd be anything but combat. Quite the opposite of combat. Increases current health and or energy as specified. Okay. Well, it says heal completely, so it's got to be completely. So we're each going to spend one gold to heal completely. That's going to give us all of our health and all of our energy back. So we're all down to five gold. And I'm just going to erase that gold all at once. How do we want to spend this five gold? That's the question. Um, five. Um, let's start with Thonk. Thonk, maybe you want to spend more damage. Four here. And now he deals seven damage with his bash. He's got one gold left. I'm going to buy an extra potion. So we don't have to keep coming back to town so much. Potions heal one energy and one health. So his gold is gone. Araya here. Shield ally. Effect damage. Choose an attack that damages an ally. This round, the damage is defended by half shield ally rank. This mastery may be used once per round per half tower shield rank. Each use requires one energy and may target a different ally. At rank 4, you may use this mastery outside of combat to negate other damage. Um, at rank 7, I can use tower shield or cleave while using shield ally. That's kind of nice. However, I think hmm. what I'm going to do here. Affected is tower shield plus this. I think. Five, the target of this mastery gains plus three boost to the next action rank. Hmm. All right, let's try that. Reflected Assault for four. And then that ups this to seven. That was four gold. Um, 
one gold left over. Potion for one. Oh, we healed. That's right. No gold. We healed. We all only had five to spend. Okay. Pepper pants. We're going to do health. Give him an extra hit point there for two. It's three to spend. I'm going to do navigate. Lower our chances of getting lost. Uh, we didn't buy an extra potion. That's okay. We have lots of potions. All right. That was the event phase. Now the villain phase. Does the Dead King show himself? Yes. Which city? Number one. Um, that's this one. Okay, I don't know if the quest goes away or not. We'll just continue playing the game. That's the end of the round. Uh, let's move. Maybe we move. We move normal. No, let's move cautiously once again. I'm trying to make my way to this boss. My goal for this game and for this campaign is to take out all the bosses. Uh, get stronger, and then take on the Dead King. One of the things I do know, however, is we need to unflip. When he destroys these cities, we need to go and, and take them back because he gets faster and faster with every destroyed city. So we moved here. We do not need to navigate. Um, I suppose we could roll it uh, for um, crit purposes, maybe? All right. Pepper Pants. He fails it all, but he doesn't need to eat because he's food rating zero. Araya. Uh, three on gold. Yes, Araya found gold and does not need to eat food. Good job, Araya. Now Thonk. Looking for threes or less. Does not eat doesn't find gold and we're fine we don't need to roll green for so I wonder if we don't need to roll green if we fail rolling green do we wander I should probably just not roll green that's what I'm gonna do in the future okay the good news we're good didn't need to eat found a little bit of gold life is great circumstance phase we're gonna see what befalls us here hex okay it's gonna be this random one here brigands okay some humanoids do I have humanoids as a favored Creature type, a favored enemy? No. I, th I believe we are going to go ahead and fight these humanoids, uh, brigands, though. Let's take a look. That is them. Now, before we find out what they do, let's figure out what we do. Um, Thonk is going to, of course, hit them for seven with his bash ability. Leaves them with five hit points left. If the gnome uses his for two energy, he can boost that for... Oh, no. For two energy, power bot. Power bot boosts Berserker by five, dealing 12 damage. And then the guardian will guard by reflecting the assault for one energy. Okay, that's what we're doing. Five. Seven. We're dealing 12 damage. Let's find out what the brigands are doing. They're doing three, which is the top one. Single target health, and the target is now bleeding. Well, single target means we roll these dice, and remember, blue is for Berserker, green is for Guardian, and yellow is for Tinkersmith. Uh, Tinkersmith rolled highest on that, but it's okay, because the Guardian was reflecting the assault. So we're dealing these brigands 12, Thank you, Thonk and Pepper Pants, for that. The Brigand is dealing five damage back to single target, which ended up being Pepper Pants. They're not too happy with him helping Thonk deal so much damage. They're dealing five, according to that. 
However, the Guardian, reflect damage you or an ally suffers this round. The damage is defended by reflected assault rank plus tower shield rank, which is 7. It's reflected back against your attacker as piercing. If you use a reflected assault on an ally, you suffer remaining damage that isn't defended. Well, defended at all. Good job, Araya. Great job, Pepper Pants, and a stellar job by Thonk the Berserker. They're dead. Pepper Pants is bleeding now, but it's not going to matter here in a moment because of our camping gear. He gets to remove all effects. And I believe bleeding only lasts till the end of the combat anyhow. Five gold each and two food each. So that's one food for Araya because they can't hold any more. He's full on food too, so it's the five gold really that makes all the difference. So, seven, five, five. You know, I'm thinking about grabbing my poker chips to use as gold. Keeps me from writing down everything. Uh, good job. I think we might have struck a decent balance for their, for their skills. Um, with that one extra power-up card at the beginning of the game. I really hope that's the case. We moved, we faced the circumstance. There is no event because we're not in an event location. Let's find out where the Dead King is headed. City number five, he's headed here, and he moves one plus the number of um, destroyed cities. Moves in a straight line. Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's not gonna matter, one, two. It's going to destroy city number five really quick. Uh, that's awful. Oh wait, city number five is that way. One, two. I keep looking at the bosses thinking they're cities. There's city number five. Okay, next round. We're going to move. Uh, we heal one energy and one health because of our camping gear. Awesome. We're going to move can we move normal and try to take out that boss? I really do want a boss fight. Um, if, if you guys want to see a boss fight, let me know in the chat. I'm really, uh, really itching for a boss fight, kind of. They really do put our skills to the test. Um, doesn't look like we're going to get much in the way of rewards fighting grizzly bears and shambling zombies other than gold. Because we could move there, one, two, three. We'd have to roll navigate to make sure we don't get lost. Do it, okay. Do it, do it. One, two, three. We get four movement. We have to roll navigate uh, or we get lost. So let's find out how Pepper Pants does here. Pepper Pants fails navigation, fails exploration, fails food, but he doesn't eat food. So now I need two successful navigates, or we don't go to the boss fight. Araya needs a four or less on green dice. Does not get it. We are going to wander. Does not find gold. Has to eat food. Failed all of those rolls. Thonk, triple threes. It's not going to matter, really. Doesn't eat food. Succeeds on navigate. Um, doesn't find gold. So that wasn't good. We now wander. One hex uh, to the north there. And we have a circumstance. Let's find out what happens to us here. And we cannot, we cannot ignore this circumstance because we didn't move cautiously. We moved normally. So here goes. One. Ooh. It's a Remy's ring. You found a precious ring bearing the mark of Magistrate Areni. You may turn this card into Restwind Dale for a bounty of four gold per hero, or you may keep the magical ring. If you keep the ring, the group may use it once before a single combat round. Roll the six-sided die and add the result to the rank of each hero's action. This die may explode, and then the ring use, loses its magic after its use. Okay. Well, uh, awesome. We didn't find any trouble. Hey, there's an ancient fortress nearby. We didn't find any trouble. We found a magic ring. Now we have to decide. I think we're probably going to use it in the boss fight, but we have to decide whether or not we're going to keep this ring or turn it back into um, Restwind Dale. Now, Restwind Dale is... Which city is West Restwind Dale? That's a good question. 
Restwind Dale is city number hex, right in the middle. So, we'll have to figure that out when we come to it. All right. Um, did we have some story when the Dead King showed himself, or is it just when we challenge him? Yeah, it's just when we challenge him. Okay. Oh, and that city fell. There's a little bit of story when these cities fall. The dead king's expression speaks volumes. The passerby spoke hurriedly, uttering the last words he ever hoped to hear. He's returned. The dead king has returned and the bone legion is coming. He took the city for himself. Leave quickly. With that, the traveler leaves, almost tripping over his own feet in haste. Somewhere beyond, the warning bell begins to toll from a distant watchtower. So the rumors are true. The valley is about to come much more a dangerous place. Okay. The city has fallen. We're after him. Uh, he's going to move two more spaces. One, two, towards this city. I really wish that I had rolled a three or a four or a two so that he was going farther away, but I did not. Next round. Well, first thing, we're going to move cautiously. I get my bonus from camping gear. Heal one energy and one health. It's going to be a boss fight now, guys. Here we go. Boss fight. That's right. It's a boss fight. Let's see, who do we have here? It's the Bandit Prince. So, before we fight the Bandit Prince, got a couple of things we gotta do. We still have to roll for our gold and food consumption. We don't have to roll Navigate. So Pepper Pants is gonna roll right here. Doesn't find gold. Doesn't eat food because he doesn't. Araya. All right, we've got a crit. Critical success. Um, doesn't eat food, but nobody needs to heal energy. Nobody's hurt. Um, doesn't find any gold. Now Thunk. Doesn't eat food. He's really good at not eating food. For an ogre, he sure doesn't eat a whole lot. So let's take a look at the Bandit Prince here. 25 health. Got to track this on the battle mat. So they have this battle mat that you can keep track. 25 health, 16 energy, and lots of different things that they do. So let's get this going with some, I don't know, some fight music. Here we go. 25 health is what we're after. How fast can uh, Thong kill this guy? <laughs> that's, that's my goal. I'm gonna just pump damage from Thong using Tinkersmith here to power it up with the power bots. We're gonna just keep rolling that for a while. Thong's dealing seven by himself. Uh, he could rage. Rage damage is nine. So you may sacrifice health up to twice rage rank when using this master. Rage deals health damage to an opponent equal to bash rank plus rage rank plus one for health. Oh, that's going to be, oh yeah, seven and two is nine, plus any damage. If I suffer one damage, I can deal ten, adding five to that. Yes, let's try that. He's going to use two energy. Whoops, stays three. He's going to go all out in his first attack. He's doing nine. He's going to sacrifice one health to deal 10 damage. So we just jot that down here, minus 10. Pepper Pants is going to power that up with his power bots. Five, so minus another five for uh, two energy. Then, oh, Rage was only one energy. Okay, then it's 15 damage. We're gonna reflect a Assault for one energy. No, for two energy. I think I got that wrong last round. I, I, I swapped the two for the one. But anyhow, we're reflecting Assault. 
So that's our choices. Now let's find out what the Bandit Prince is doing. Take a look here in the book. A lot of these things have backstory that I want to make sure that I read because it's really cool. They went through the trouble of doing this. The bandit prince may have been born a nobleman's son, but all sense of honor has long been stripped from him. Even trusted friends and advisors have suffered his dishonesty. He and his raiders have laid ruin to merchants and their caravans along the mid-road for years. Some whisper, however, that he's slipping into madness. His attacks become more frequent and brutal. We're going to bring him to justice if we can. Welcome to my kingdom, the bandit prince laughs. Many have come and tried to take my wealth, but I promise you that none have succeeded. He unsheathes his rapier and points it towards us. I advise you, leave your tribute and take your lives and go. As he speaks, the prince's henchmen appear from shadows, brandishing weapons and spouting insults. This villain has ransacked the nearby towns and merchants more than enough. We are here for one reason, and running away is not an option. With drawn weapons, we stand tall, preparing for a fight. Very well, I accept your lives as payment. With that, the bandit prince and his men rush forward. And his first attack is a five. Five says greedy hand. I'm gonna take a look at my sheet here. It's a little bit closer to my face. It's hard to read that one up there. Group explore. All right, so we all roll exploration rolls. Exploration rolls are gold. Pepper fails. Pariah fails. Uh, Berserker. Critical success. Critical success. The bandit prince steals two gold from those who fail. Uh, those who don't have gold lose. Gold to lose suffer four health damage instead. Okay. We actually all have gold to lose, so that's really good. Uh, we lose two gold. Three. Actually, it wasn't a. That was a good attack for us to roll him against us because we lost no life. Uh, he, however, lost 15 life and is now down to 10. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for the bandit prince because we're going to do that same... No, do we need to do that same attack? No, we don't. He's going to bash for 7. Uh, Thunk is going to bash for 7. Pepper is going to spend 2 more energy. to power bot that attack by five, making it 12, minus 12. I'm gonna reflect assault again. Reflected assault with the guardian. Now let's find out what the bandit prince and his thieves are up to. Three. Magic potion. He's gonna heal five health and then roll the action die again on a result of two fiber hex he performs that immediately any other result is ignored ah uh, okay well here's the thing all of this happens simultaneously so he's gonna get the healing i'm dealing 12 he's healing five so he's 15 minus 12 is three he's got three health left then on a two fiber hex he performs that immediately five greedy hand again so, we're all going to roll. Exploration? No, yes. Exploration. Which is yellow. Pepper pants. Roll to six. He fails. Pariah. There we go. Another crit. Critical success. She's fine. Thonk. Rolls a six. He fails. So, Thonk loses to two gold? Yep. Thonk loses two gold. Pepper loses two gold. He's at three health. Okay, next round. Uh, Thonk is just gonna hit him for seven. Pepper's boosting it. I can't have him doing that again. I'm gonna hit him for another 12. And Araya is going to just shield ally. About half shield ally rank. Damage is defended by half shield ally rank. Smash for being used once per round for half power shield rank. I don't see why that's really good, but we're going to reflect it as something. Just in case it's bad. So now we're down to six. Okay, dealing him another 12. 
and he's going to four. There we go, Garot. Dual target, health, and survival. Okay. He's gonna try to make us bleed. So it's dual target, we're gonna roll for targets. None of us wanted to be targets this time. Blue is Berserker. And yellow is Pepper Pants. Okay. Two unlucky targets are gruesomely attacked and suffer four health damage. Uh, those who fail are now bleeding. Um, survival rolls. Oh, we have to roll survival out of those two targets. So, survival rolls are blue. So let's see if he's bleeding. Pepper's bleeding. Thonk gets himself another critical success. critical success. He's not bleeding. And they're suffering four damage. Now, she reflected, she'll reflect Pepper's damage. Thonk will go ahead and take the four damage. He'll be at eight. But with that, that's going to end the Bandit Prince's life. And his reward is plenty. It is. Two cards each, five gold, um, and two food. Oh, we got to roll target. Okay, so let's take, we took the damage, took the damage. Okay, we're all fine there. Um, just trying to hammer out these rewards. Plus two navigate and two potions are the single rewards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out, I'll get to erase the battle mat here real quick because I wanna read bleeding. Bleeding says, uh, bleeding continues until the target receives healing or combat ends. The combat has ended, he's no longer bleeding. Let's talk about these rewards. You can see down at the bottom, plus two navigate, plus two potions for single rewards. And then everybody gets the five gold and two food. So let's, let's do that. Eight gold. Six gold. I want my stolen gold back, by the way. But I guess we got some of it back. Ten gold. Okay. Um, we each get to draw two cards. We also both, we all get two food, but she's full on food. He can't hold any food, and he's full on food. Um, so let's do the plus two navigate and plus two potions. It is, it's targets, right? So blue berserker, let's get rid of his face. Blue berserker, green guardian, yellow tinkersmith. Well, that guardian really wanted that uh, navigate. And we've got a re-roll for Pepper and Thonk. Pepper really wanted those two potions. So it's two more potions for Pepper. And plus two navigate is huge. We can start walking a little bit faster now with this five and six. Uh, we shouldn't be failing that so much. Okay, now the really fun stuff is drawing two of these per hero. Let's go with, well, let's do another roll off. It's gonna be Berserker first. Then, this was the roll off, so it's gonna be uh, Pepper Pants and then Araya. So let's get the Berserker, two cards. Oh, wow, lots of mastery. That's really good. Three first mastery and plus two for his second mastery. So that's going to be uh, his current masteries are two and two, two and three. So let's take a look. Let's put it right here. So plus three here, plus two here. They're going to be five and five. His rage is going to go up. His endure is going to go up. I like it. These guys are getting stronger. Okay. Now we've got Pepper Pants. He could use the defense, plus one defense, and plus two to my choice, um, any of my stats. Plus two of any of my stats. Distribute it between any of your stats. That's tough. Okay. His defense goes up. 
Oh, if I boost my Clockwork Assault, it also boosts how much Power Bot bonus I get. But if I boost Power Bot to rank 5, I may alter the damage this deals. If I change it to energy, the opponent may not spend energy this round. Hmm. I could do one and one. I get two more hit points. Boy, that is really, really tough. I could start boosting my survivability uh, skills. What do you think? What do you think, viewers? Do I boost my abilities, my survivability skills, or my vitals, which is ooh, survivability? Okay. Um, all right. I think then navigate's super important because if we walk four spaces, we don't want to wander and get lost. We lost a whole round because we couldn't find the bandit prints. Um, I'm going to do one there and maybe... Okay, definitely going to do one there. We need to not be getting lost. So now, this one helps me find gold. This one has me not eat. But remember, there's also events in the circumstance deck that makes us roll these. So they're all important. Um, but I think we're going to do, well, let's do survival. Survival seems like it's important. OK. That is Pepper Pants. Now Araya. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yes, that is plus one to every ability she has. And that's just the first card. So this goes to three. This goes to four. This goes to three. This goes to five which is going to alter these. All right. Shield ally total is still one per half shield ally. Reflected assault is going to be number of sh shields per round. Hold on a second. I don't understand that. Shield divided by two. Okay, well, it's this. Shield plus that is nine. She now reflects nine damage. At rank 5, if the target of this mastery gains... Oh, at rank 5. Oh, it's up to 5 now. Yes. Um, the target of this gains a plus 3 boost to their next action rank. That is really good. So here's the, here's the example. Using our standard attack, which is Thonk hits Tinker Smith, Pepper boosts the attack by 5, and she reflects damage off of Pepper. Next round... This power bot will get plus three to it, so to seven, that'll be doing eight extra damage, so Thonk will be hitting for 15 in one round. That's going to be re really good synergistically. What a great card she drew. And that was only the first. She got two. Plus two health and plus two energy. She is even more survivable than before. So this goes to 11 and 10. which then raises this current to eight. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, that was the event phase. Very eventful. Killing a boss. The bandit prince is down. Where's the next boss? The next boss is here, which is kind of far away. I don't know how to deal with these fallen cities yet. I do want to learn. I've got to read up more on that. We are stronger, uh, like pack lids. We are strong. This guy, however, moves two, one, two. City falls. Not what I wanted to have happen, but another city falls. Now he's going to wander three spaces towards the next city, but we don't know where that is yet. So that, I think is going to wrap up episode one. We wanted to take out the boss. We did. We put a 
marker here to show that that, where's the little hex markers? Here it is. Show the hex marker that that boss is defeated and no longer defeatable. We still haven't used the ring. Um, so I think we're going to leave it there. I was going to say camp out for the day, but that's an actual action that I'm not going to take. We're going to get on the move here. Um, we're going to leave it there for the day and take on hopefully boss number two in our next episode. Uh, Thanks for watching today, uh, uh, joining on the live stream. I do appreciate it. If you're catching this on the YouTube playback, consider giving it a like. Hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when episode two comes up. We face boss number two, so we hope. Uh, it's kind of a far trek, but when we travel by river, we actually get bonuses there as well. That's going to do it for today. Thanks again for watching, and as always, we'll see you at the next boardroom meeting.